Hey everybody, Alex from Corsair here. A couple weeks back, we got a demo from Cirrus Link for their MQTT modules. We have a project coming up where we want to use one of their modules for a specific use case. It's the first time that we've dealt with any of their products. They dove into basically everything they offer. We found out that they have a lot of powerful functionality we were not aware existed. One of the benefits of MQTT as a protocol is if you are using MQTT enabled devices or devices that support their spark plug protocol, you can program the device to have MQTT enabled tags that are automatically generated in your SCADA system when you connect that device to the network. One of the options for that that we thought we would be able to get a little more use out of than some of the just basic instruments was an easy PLC from Easy Automation, which also will filter into probably a cheapest PLC you can buy video. Uh, their marketing was that you can buy two of these for the cost of one Automation Direct PLC. And here's our entire setup. Oh, we have a 24 volt power supply here, a switch. Those are both getting powered from the wall. Uh, we have the Easy PLC here and a Raspberry Pi here running Ignition Edge. Uh, the PLC is actually powering the Pi with a USB cable. Um, and both the Pi and the PLC are plugged into this switch here. And that's what we're using for the uh, setup that we'll show in a second. So to get started, we're gonna create a new project in our Easy Automation software. Map our I.O. modules, uh, create some tags and a rung of logic so we can turn on an output from Ignition. And then we're going to configure Spark Plug. Our group node and device IDs will direct us in the tag tree in Ignition to this PLC. Here we're configuring our server settings and then creating our topics for our tags. Outputs, inputs, and triggers are just folders that will show up in Ignition with tags below those. And then we're going to make these read write. Uh, for this process so we can write to them from Ignition. That would be case by case for a real project. And here we're downloading and installing the MQTT distributor and MQTT engine modules into our gateway. We need both of those to communicate with the PLC via MQTT. And then we're going to go through the uh, default settings on those. Um, per the documentation for this demo, we're going to uncheck um, a couple boxes to allow us to enable device communications and we're going to just set the um, IP address to make sure we're on the right IP for this server from the PLC. And once those are enabled we will launch the designer and open that up. Take a second to load, log in with our defaults, change those if you're not doing a demo. We will see our tag browser here. If we expand, we will see nothing under our edge nodes at the moment. We will go through and go to read write mode for our tag browser. And with everything enabled, now we see our easy PLC inputs, outputs, and triggers folder. If we check the trigger, it will turn on the output. And that is as simple as that. That's all it takes to configure MQTT. So there's how to configure MQTT on a device that supports spark plug out of the box. Uh, one of the next things we're gonna do is figure out how we can get this implemented with more uh, name brand PLCs that we typically see in industry. Alan um, Bradley, uh, Siemens, a lot of the spark plug devices are more internet of things related that we just don't see quite as often in our line of work, but we're starting to see here more and more. And if you have any questions or need us to look at any other devices for MQTT to show you how it's done, let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe and look out for more awesome MQTT content in the future. Thank you.